Hello my dear friends of electronics. Today I want to show you some different comparison of C filter, LC filter, P filter and T filter. For this reason <coughs> I will use the internal signal generator of my picoscope. I will generate a 1 MHz signal, 1 volt. Go to a PCB which contains all these different filter. It's a 50 ohm calibrated system and I will measure on port number 1 different signal from this uh, board, which should be filtered or less filtered. So first of all, like you can see, this is the 1 MHz signal, like I showed you before. And now I will go to the spectrum analyzing, so FFT analyzing with very, very fast acquisition time, more like 130,000 bins. And uh, let me see what will happen when we will connect this to the C capacitors. So first of all, I will connect now to the C capacitors. Now we did connect three capacitors, 100 nano, 10 nano and 1 nano in parallel. So these three capacitors, when we are making the maximum peak hold, You can see that the maximum peak gets reduced. The first frequency is here. This is 1 megahertz. Then we have the third harmonics, minus 37 dBm, fifth harmonics, 46 dBm, and seventh harmonics, 50 dBm. So the capacitors are doing a job. But how about the LC filter? Let me see. I will connect now the LC filter. Now the LC filter is running. I will make again the peak hold. And you can see now we have here at 1 MHz minus 17 dBm. The third harmonics is something by minus 35. Fifth harmonics 44. Seventh harmonics 44 as well. So it works better like the C capacitor filter, but Okay, we can improve it. It's a 50 ohm system improvements. We can try to introduce also the P-filter. I will connect now the P-filter. P-filter is 1 nano, 100 nano capacitor, and the chip bit for the same like the LC filter. Now you can see it's much, much better operation because the filter effect is minus 12 at 1 megahertz, third harmonic, minus 44, minus 50, minus 55. So the filter effect in this case and 50 ohm system impedance is the P filter, the best solution. So I will switch now to the T filter, the last one. For the T filter, I'm using 100 nanofarad capacitor and comp a combination of two different chip bit farads. One is for wideband and one is for high frequency. So one is responsible for the lower frequency and the second one is for the higher frequency to give a handover between the first when it's left his uh, insertion loss and the second to active uh, more in the higher frequency. So here you can see we have here the 1 megahertz signal at minus 17. We have the third harmonics minus 35, 38, then minus 49, and seventh harmonics minus 52. So of course, uh, in a 50 ohm system impedance, uh, P filter is the best solution. So 
I would recommend if you want to filter on high impedance system to use a P filter or at least an LC filter and if you have some low impedance a T filter is the best solution. I hope you enjoy it. See you next time. Goodbye.